What's good, YouTube family? Thank y'all for tuning back into another video. Make sure that y'all like, comment, subscribe, and watch the whole video. This helps me to reach more people. And y'all already know what I do on my channel. I teach y'all how to cut hair, but more and most importantly, I teach you about the Word of God. To get into the haircut before I pick up any clipper or trimmer, I want to go ahead and I want to comb the hair in the direction that the client brushes his hair. And the reason I'm going to comb and not brush is because brushing lays the hair flat and combing is going to lift the hair up off the scalp, which is going to allow me to get the most even cut possible. And while I'm combing, I'm looking for any imperfections in the head. Say, I'm trying to figure out how his crown's looking. I'm trying to figure out if he has anything on his head, like a mole or anything. And also, if he has any calyx, anything like that. I'm looking for all that when I'm prepping the hair. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cut the hair down with the number one guard. Going with the grain in the direction that the client brushes his hair. And I'm just going to go over everything multiple times and comb through while I'm doing it. Just to make sure that everything's lifted and cut down to the same length that I'm looking for. Man, y'all can see my boy does not obviously have the best hairline. He doesn't have the worst, but he doesn't have the best. But I'm gonna still get them together and I'm gonna show y'all how to approach a client who has a similar hairline. And I feel like it can help, especially with people who are like beginners, because I remember I, I used to look at stuff like that and be like, man, I don't know what to do. But for the back, y'all, we're doing a high taper. Uh, on the sides for the back when i do tapers i pretty much like to set it in straight across in the back i just like it a nice clean taper so go ahead and bought out after that and the sides i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna bought it out from the bottom of the vertical bar to the top of his ear then i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna clear the whole area because i know he just likes to have a goatee so while i have my clippers in my hand i'm gonna become a more efficient barber of my time by go ahead and clearing that area out all at once doing the same thing on the other side making sure that they match up so i can give a even haircut on both sides i'm making sure my clients are clean always this is just gonna help you as your experience in the chair like your clients are gonna love it so to begin my fading process y'all i have my stylecraft instincts with my lever open and i'm setting this first line like half of an inch to three quarters of an inch. That's how far I'm going up. Making sure I go over it multiple times just to make sure that everything's the same length. Now I'm gonna close the lever halfway, go halfway up that line. Close the lever one more notch, tap the bottom line. Then I'm gonna close it all the way and tap the bottom line and take it out completely. And I believe that the blade open and close is the most important part of the fade. Cause it's like the foundation of the fade and it's gonna play a big factor in determining how clean and even of the fade that you can get. Now I have my number one and a half guard on. Since we cut the hair down with the number one closed, this one and a half should go right up into that and blend right up into that without cutting too much off. Cause we cut it down with the one, so the one and a half should go right into that. Hopefully that makes sense. Like this really isn't cutting too much. I'm just making sure that everything's more even, if you want to say that. For the next part of my fade, I have Stylecraft Instincts with a master blade on it, and I'm using a zero guard. So I have the lever all the way open, and I'm going right up under where we left off with that one and a half closed. Then I'm gonna close the lever halfway, come down on the fade a little bit, and then close the lever all the way and tap that bottom line. I know it's not gonna take it out completely, but it's gonna soften it up very well for me to be able to come in and do some detail work and take it out. You can see I'm just looking for dark spots to bring to the light. And now I'm going with the grain this is something that helps your fades just blend so softly and smoothly. In my opinion, I feel like 
it's an underrated part of fading, especially with like waiver. Now I have my lever, or I'm just using, basically I'm just doing detail work. And by detail work, I mean lever play. So open and close my lever where my blade would need be and corner work using the last couple of teeth of my blade or the corner of my blade to pinpoint dark spots, bring them to the light and make the fade as smooth as possible. And also you can see once again, I have my lever open and I'm going with the grain just to soften it up. And I feel like it made a huge difference already. But like I said, now at this point, I'm just doing detail work. God is in the details. Make sure that you pay attention. For the back of the haircut, y'all, I literally do the same exact steps. I just make them a little bit bigger. So instead of going up half an inch or three quarters of an inch, I go up like a full inch. And that's because it's a bigger surface area. So we have more room to fade. Just don't take the fade like too high because you can definitely do that. If you want to make it a little bit higher, that's fine. Um, but it's literally the same steps, like I said before, and the same things that I did before. You already know what I like to get into on the back and on the side of the haircut. So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get into the message. It's obviously Christmas. Well, it's Christmas Eve today. Tomorrow is Christmas. And you know, as believers, what we use Christmas to celebrate. We're not talking about Santa and all that, giving gifts, this, that, and the other. We're talking about our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ's birthday. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to read a Bible verse for y'all. And it's Isaiah 9, 6, which says, For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government will be upon his shoulders. And his name will be called Wonderful, Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Y'all, think about this, man. The very best gift that you can have in life, which is salvation, it comes free. And when I say it comes free, I mean it comes free for us. It ain't cut, like look at everything that jesus had to do for us to have that and it comes free think about everything every gift from god comes free every gift from god god comes free salvation grace love then if you want to get into all the things of god love joy peace goodness kindness faith something of self-control patience um the fruits that's the fruits of the spirit but everything from god comes free like there's no way that we can earn our salvation there's no way that we can earn god's grace there's no way that we can earn love from God. But he still gives it to us, and he still gives it to us for free, which is so such amazing, and it just shows you, like, how much God loves you. Um, So that's my message for today, y'all. Get right with God. Um, Accept Jesus as your first Lord and Savior and get right with God, which is Romans 10, 9 and 10, and then you'll be a new creation in Christ Jesus, which is 2 Corinthians 5, 17, if y'all want to go read those verses. And then I'm just going to send out some love for everybody who's having a hard time throughout these holidays. Just remember this. God loves you. I love you. And um, yeah, I know that it could be hard, but just know this, that the Bible says God's strength is made perfect in our weakness. So when we are weak, he is strong. So rely on his strength to get you through everything throughout this holiday. And not just this holiday, but life. Because one thing for sure, God is faithful and he'll never leave you or forsake you. So make sure to rely on him at all times, no matter what. The, the, the hard times and the good times. Always, We should always rely on God. We should always look to God uh, for everything. So, man, and just what a beautiful, wonderful, the best gift ever, the greatest gift ever. By God giving us his one and only begotten son, Jesus Christ, to save us. So thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Ghost, for everything. I'm grateful. I love you. And I love y'all. Thank y'all for listening to the message. And I hope that it reached somebody. For the ear line, y'all, I like to tap this land in and then use the last couple of teeth of my blade or the corner of my blade to finish making the arch shape around the ear. And then I clear it and go over it again. Now for the front line up, y'all. I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to start in the middle, and I'm going to work my way to the side. And you can see I'm being very patient with it. And instead of going like straight back and digging into the corners, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to line the hairs. It's hairs there, they're just real light. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to line those hairs. So it's not like digging super far back and making this hairline look like super crazy. So I'm just gonna give it like a ghost line in front of the hair. Hopefully this is making sense. Then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna tap in the vertical bar.
And then I go ahead and clear the hair off the forehead because there's always little hairs on the forehead and it just makes the cut look cleaner if you do that. So now I'm gonna match the other side to it and honestly, his, some people's lineup is just not perfect. So you can't necessarily match it perfect on both sides because if you do, you gotta push one side and not the other, but go ahead and put it as close as possible that you can get. Now I'm gonna enhance his lineup because he likes enhancements. This just gives the haircut an extra pop. Like, it'll be clean without it, but it just gives it an extra pop. And I use Kiss Express. And, um, I'm just putting a light amount. I'm not spraying too much. I'm just putting a light amount so that when I come with my fibers, this liquid part, it kind of like grips the fibers to where it's gonna last three to five days. If taken care of properly, it can last even more. That's why I understand everybody be like, man, it's going to wash off as soon as he gets home, as soon as he walks outside, as soon as it rains, bro. You're going to see how I comb through it and it's still on there. And I'm comb when I'm combing through these fibers, I'm combing strong. Like I'm not using my hand real light and just barely touching them. I'm combing through it strong. So fibers don't, like enhancements, if applied properly, like I don't know what y'all barbers be doing, but if enhancements are pro applied properly, then they're gonna last and that's what maybe i don't know maybe you should pay for a premium barber uh that really takes his time and loves his craft and has perfected it and you will understand but you can see i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna comb through these enhancements just to make sure i use the small big side of the comb and the small side of the comb just to make sure and then i'm also solidifying the lineup and by solidifying the lineup i mean I line it up, then I comb any hairs forward, and I cut any overhanging hairs. Make sure that when you do line your fibers up, because you always need to go back and line them up after you apply hand sprints and apply fibers. Make sure that when you do that, you um, line them up in the line you already have. Don't push the line up back. Just trying to line the fibers up clean. Just put them where you already have the line. And I'm always clearing off the forehead and everything like that just because I want to give the best finishing results. And I do this for every client, not just when I record. I always keep my cape clean and I always keep my client's face clean. Because I don't want them to be comfortable. I want to give them a great experience while they're in my chair. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hit them with the razor lineup. And I honestly like doing this better before enhancements because I feel like it's cleaner instead of putting enhancements on and then having like an ass line build up. I feel like if you do it first and get it crispy with the with the razor first, then throw the enhancements in there, then line the razor up. It just, to me, is kind of a cleaner look. Then you can go back and hit it with the razor if you want just a little bit. But either way, it's super clean either way. Uh, and it doesn't really push at the fibers, if that makes sense. But I would honestly recommend you to lean your client back and do the razor that way. Like put the headrest and lean the client back. It's probably easier for you and it honestly probably makes for a better experience for the client. But either way it goes, it's still gonna be clean. And one small thing that I've been doing for my channel that I feel like makes my channel better and more complete is showing the before and after at the, at the end of the video. Uh, I've just been focused on it and Sometimes I forget, but I've been remembering because the Holy Ghost brings all things to my remembrance. Glory to God. With that being said, here goes the before and here's the after. Let me know what y'all think about this cut in the comment section. I think it turned out fire. The taper and the line are both super clean. If y'all want a similar cut to this, I'm in the St. Louis area. So if you're in the St. Louis area, look up my Instagram, which is the same username. Follow me and book an appointment with me. And if you just want to support me, follow me on Instagram. I'm going to be posting a lot more. If y'all came to my channel because you like watching VAR videos because they're satisfying, I hope this video satisfies you. If you came to learn something, I hope you take something from my game, apply it to yours, and advance in your career, and your craft, and your life. And if you came for the message, I hope it reach you and touch your heart, your mind, your soul, and your body. Thank y'all for tuning back into another video, man. Merry Christmas Eve and Merry Christmas tomorrow. Enjoy the time with y'all family. Be safe. 
I love y'all, man. Thank y'all for tuning in to another video. I hope to see you back on the next one. God bless.